talking to Keith Kaiser, Executive Director of the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, and I'm turning it over to him. Hi, welcome to the Barber Vintage Festival. This is Lot A. This is the AMCA and VJMC lot, but primarily for us, this is the Antique Motorcycle Club of America display where we have 105 motorcycles that are signed up this weekend to be on display. So we line everything up from the ages. Inside this tent behind me, we've got everything that's 1929 and older. And then out behind where Gary's standing, we've got our 30s and 40s. And then 50s out to my left and behind the tent, we've got the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And then we have competition class and uh, custom class. So we have something for everybody. This is, not a, this is not typical to what we do at a national meet. At a national meet, these bikes all compete against themselves uh, on a 100 point system. But when we do this, this is not our event. We're just guests here. So we do it different. The Music City chapter does the bike show for us. So it is a popularity contest. It's a people's choice. So that's what we're doing right here. So we can take you inside and let Gary show you a few of the bikes that we have. All right, thank you, Keith. And we're gonna turn around. Just uh, a few of the older bikes, starting off with the 30s in the front row, 40s in the second row. As you can see, there's a lot of people here at Barber's. And we're coming over here. Uh, not really sure, that looked like it's in the 50s. And that's competition bikes. But we, I wanna walk through this tent I don't know if the lighting is going to be good, but we've got our fan, our chapter set up right here. Each one of a, our southern chapters. This is an AMCA booth over here where you can buy different things for uh, whatever you want. Stickers and uh, patches. and uh, This is a Music City uh, uh, chapter. Uh, this is Smoky Mountain chapter, yeah. and this is Deep South chapter that I'm the president of. Oh, good. And then we have the, uh, uh, oh, the Legend chapter, the Legend chapter. But anyway, I'm going to turn around and let y'all look at a few of these. These are the real old motorcycles. Like I say, I hope this lighting is good, but we're going to start off with this Excelsior. 1916 beautiful box this one here I mean look at the patina on this bike uh, I think that is a 13 Excelsior and we have a BMW 1928 marvelous bike yeah hmm I don't even know how to pronounce that one but it sure is nice and this one here is uh, one of our deep south chapter members Gordon Bass's bike I believe Excessier Auto Cycle. Another Excessier. And another Excessier. AMCA membership has really got some vintage motorcycles. And this is a oh, Indian. I think it's Scout. Might be a big chief. Not really sure. And we have a military model Condor. That's a new one for me. And a Benson. Now that's a beautiful bike too. I'm sorry? A Swiss bike. Which the AMCA takes any brand of motorcycle as long as it's 35 years old. It's accepted into our fold. Now 
these are the bikes. These are competition bikes over here. Like I say, everything that we have in this show is 35 years or older. I mean, just beautiful motorcycles. Chopper. Another chopper. Yeah, it's still, it's that. I, I ain't tried it. But anyway, it's too hot to kick I hear you. I hear you. James, this one is for sale. There's your phone number. $2,500. It's a 1949 James. Something about red. Crusty. Ride them, don't hide them. Say. Hey.
Say hi, Bob. Hey, Gary. How are you doing? Bob has been here registering these bikes. This is his second year in a row to work endlessly. Thank you, Bob. And he loves the heat. He loves Oh, the yeah. Heat. I love the heat from last year. Oh, yeah. Year. Oh, yeah. And there's plenty of it. It's hot. Any good ideas? Man, it's so hot. I got fuel condensation. All right. Our last bike. This bike, I don't know the lady's name, but she I know she's from Florida, and she rides this bike. I've seen her all the time. Uh, she even works on this bike herself. But, I mean, look at that. She rides this bike all over. My hat's off to her. That's dedicated. All right, that concludes our little documentary of uh, the AMCA show. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you, and later. See you next year. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who showed up to support us. Bob will have to give me the final count, but last time I saw it, I think it was 95 bikes on the field. Whoa. So we had 106 registered, but we lost people due to due to, uh, death in the family. Uh, Pat Conroy fell this week, broke his hip, and he still sent all of his motorcycles. So good on him for, and his crew went through hell and back to get here. They just got here this morning. They had three flats on the motorhome, two flats on the trailer. I think lost the water pump. They ended up finally ditching the motorhome and renting a truck to come on in. They came in on three tires. So they were dedicated to be here. So we really appreciate that. So let's start off with, well, first two I wanted, I'm waiting on uh, Bob Self to get back here. He's trying to tally up the best of the show. So we'll go ahead and get going with the other classes. But again, thank each and every one of you for being here and supporting this. Okay, so the first competition class, our class would be the custom bikes. So in third place, Glenn Collips on a 1953. Right. Hey, Glenn. Glenn, you here? I don't see him. Okay. Uh, second place on a 1972 Honda Chopper, Troy Coleman. All right, Troy. Congratulations. Yes, sir. And first place in the custom category on a 1962 Harley Davidson FLH custom painted chopper is Tommy Harper. Tommy. Tommy. All right. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Man hit power. In the competition class. So instead of uh, reading these, I'm going to do all three of them at one time. We got a 73. Bull Taco for Sang, a 78 Bull Taco Astro, and a 74 Bull Taco for Sang, all three belonging to Ron Anderson. All right, Ron. Ron, stack that. Yeah. 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 That's how you do it. They just stack that class, Ron. Yeah. He's all the way out here from Texas. Wow. Yeah. Let's play those bikes. All right, so moving on to the 80s category. So on a 1982 Honda CBX 1000, John Perez. All right. Oh. Again, a 1982 Triumph, John Kennedy, second place. All right. Here, John. And first place on a 1983 Honda CB1100F, Mike Herford. Go ahead, Mike. God bless America. Mike doesn't like to be fancy or anything. So. And, he, and he does match the bike. It's the same colors. So moving on to the 70s category, which was our biggest category, I believe, with 33 bikes in it. So third place with a 73 Kawasaki Z1 900 is uh, Craig Carrado. Yeah. Thank you. And second.
second place in the 1978 HD FX. Harley Davidson FX for those Japanese guys. Again, it's Mike Herford. All right. All right. And first place in the 60s category is, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I flipped that around. In the night, for first place in 1976, BMW R90S, Michael Fair. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Couple more minutes, guys. Yeah, right. All right. Okay, moving on to the 60s category. Third place, a 1966 Suzuki XS, Mike Schwartz. Oh, yeah. First 
place in the 30s category. The 1939 Indian Four goes to Newell Wright. Shake his hand and be last year's best. <laughs> he won last year's best of show. Congratulations. <laughs> and, and your bike is. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, thanks again for everybody showing up. We really appreciate it. Our commitment to this event this year is just yesterday and today so you do not have to leave your motorcycles for tomorrow like we did last year but you're certainly welcome to the tent will still be here if you have bikes in the tent that will be all buttoned up tonight but you're certainly free to load up anytime we'd like to leave these out here for a couple of more hours just because we do have a good crowd that keeps getting off of the tram this is the best crowd that we've had uh, since we started this last year uh, Haggerty coming over and being in the field with our photo booth has generated a lot of interest in people coming around. So we really appreciate them supporting us and the two different kids uh, judging competitions that they did. But again, thank you for being here. And got any questions? Let me know. Appreciate it. Keith, thank you. Keith, for all your did, did they do the uh, rules?